Hello, I know it's been a while, quite a long time and I know some of you have been asking when I'm going to be doing some more content. Apologies for that, I haven't really been away very much, but for those of you who have been asking, here's another review and here's another hotel. Hi everyone, it's Craig. Welcome back to Craig's Life and welcome to another hotel review. As I've just said, I am sorry it has been such a long time, but I haven't really been staying away anywhere and places where I have stayed. Uh, I'd already reviewed, so there didn't see uh, a great deal of point in reviewing them again. Now, uh, I am away again. I'm just here for, for one night and this is something that I haven't reviewed before. It is a, uh, it is a budget hotel, which is connected to a pub. Um, this is the Calverley Arms, Calverley, uh, which is a place called Putsey, not far from Putsey, which is between Leeds and Bradford. Uh, this particular room today, which is the 17th of January 2022, has cost me £88 for the night and includes breakfast with an option of hot breakfast, cooked breakfast, full English breakfast, whatever you want to call it, not just the case of you get some nasty cornflakes that have been sat there all day, proper breakfast. So I'm actually quite looking forward to that. So let us have a little look at the Calverley Arms Hotel. So if we just stand behind me, this is the, the way in. As I've said, this is a, this is a budget chain. It's part of uh, Vintage Inns. Uh, this particular one is called an Innkeeper's Lodge. Now I've stayed in Innkeeper's Lodge hotels before. And I've always found them to be rather excellent. So let's have a little look at this one. Now I'm not going to be messing about with the tripod. I'm holding the camera um, up and my arm's already killing me. So let's have a closer look at the room. So as we come in, just to the side behind me here, we can see we have got um, a little wardrobe area with my case there. What I like about this is it's actually repurposing this old light scaffolding. Uh, type pole, which I really like, you know, reuse, repurpose, recycle. So that's kind of nice. So on this side behind me, we have got our uh, tea and coffee facility with our famous little biscoffs, which uh, for those of you who may have seen in my videos before, I rather like these little biscoffs. Um, here you've also got the breakfast menu and some information along with the reading light and um, some tissues as well. Uh, we've got a nice mirror um, above the desk as well and underneath here we have got where we need it as usual a hair dryer so we could sit on the chair if we needed to dry our hair which of course in my case isn't isn't necessary. So I'm going to switch arms. So here we've we've got the bed now we are still um, in a bit of a Covid world at the moment but what I do like about this is that they've managed to put the pillows back on the bed and also the throws. So what happened a lot in some of the hotels is they were doing away with these because these were surfaces that were uh, they're not being washed every single day unlike your, your pillowcases in your bedding and there were just areas where you know surfaces and the virus could live so it's nice to see that they're back it's also nice to see as well power sockets on both sides of the bed here we go both my little book bear with USBs so that we can charge the phone. Uh, opposite the bed we've got a nice uh, what looks like uh, a 42 inch TV. Uh, I have got USB sockets on the side here so I can plug in my um, Amazon Fire Stick if I wanted to. I have also got the main light on in here. What I generally do with hotels and I'm the same when I'm at home, I don't like the big lights so I turn them off so hopefully you can still see me and you've got this fantastic surround that goes all the way uh, around here and we've got a couple of reading lights here as well on both sides. I'm just going to put this light back on so you can see me. Yay! Lou, here we go. Now I'm going to take you into the bathroom but I'm going to say this right now. The extractor fan in the bathroom is rather noisy. Fortunately once you turn the bathroom light off it only stays on for a minute or, a minute or two so it's not going to be driving me mad through the night. But let's have a little look at the bathroom in this um, in this room. You hear what I mean? Okay so if we just look behind uh, the door we've got a nice heated towel rail for all of our towels which are 
our good size uh, towels and here is our noisy little culprit Venetian blinds from the window but we've got a nice big walk-in shower there this, by the looks of it the screen pulls around Now that is going to look incredibly unprofessional and nowhere near as some of my other ones, but I wanted to... I'm sorry, I'm hungry, I want to do this one quite quick. Uh, here we've got obviously the toilet and the basin. We've also got quite a good selection uh, of toiletry. This isn't up to my usual standard of editing. Um, and I apologise for that because I've just had a long day at work. I want to do this quickly and I want to get something to eat. But don't worry, the next one will be much better, I promise you honest it'll be a lot better so downstairs you've got a nice uh, restaurant there's only 15 rooms in in this particular hotel nice bar downstairs nice food so I understand my colleague works uh, lives near here so she suggested that I stay here which I'm certainly not disappointed with for innkeepers lodge it's up to the standards that I would expect you don't get some of the uh, luxuries that you get in other hotels but for what you get in I like this and on my usual scale of one to five, one being the worst, five being the best, this is easy, a five, easily. I've got a very comfortable bed, I've got a decent Wi-Fi, I've got a large TV, I've got a wonderful bathroom. There's a little bit more character to the innkeeper's lodge because they, in many cases they are joined on to pubs. Sometimes they might get a little bit noisy if it's directly over the pub. This room, um, by all accounts, isn't... Um, directly over the pub so it shouldn't be quite so bad hopefully um, but um, I'm satisfied with this for for one night I think I'll sleep very very well so there I say this is a, this is a five for me so this is the Calverley Arms in Calverley which is between Leeds and Bradford so if you're ever in this area and there was not a lot else round in this area because I have stayed in this area before without going into the centre of Bradford uh, or uh, into the centre of Tomorrow's was the centre of Leeds, there's not much around here. Uh, there was another hotel that I stayed in a few years ago before I was doing these reviews and it really wasn't very nice. So uh, if I'm back in this area again and I've got a high workload um, then I'll probably most definitely recommend this to any of you and I would stay here again. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and um, until the next time look forward to seeing you again right here on Craig's Life. See you later. Bye bye.